How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Every Brand Breakdown, where we're going through every letter of the alphabet and breaking down a brand for that letter. And right now we are on the letter P. We're going to go over Peter Millar. I know a lot of people would have liked to probably seen Polo or Patagonia, but those are so big, massive brands. Uh, I don't have a Patagonia piece with me. I'm actually in Florida spending time with my family for the holidays. So Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to everybody that's watching. Thank you guys for watching. And yeah, if you haven't already, give the video a thumbs up. And if you haven't checked out our Every Brand Breakdown playlist, I have it on my channel in the playlist section where you can go and watch all the other episodes of Every Brand Breakdown where we go over the brand, look at the markets, some of the history, some of the warranty stuff, personal experience, and you can read through some of the comments. Some pe Sometimes people will chime in with their experience with that brand or that warranty or whatever. So it's pretty cool. They're coming together quite nicely. We have 15 videos. This is going to be number 16. And let's jump right into it. Going over Peter Millar. Peter Miller. Peter Millar. Whatever. I don't really know how it's supposed to be said. They were founded in 2001, so it's a fairly young company. The name comes from one of the founders' um, lawn bowling ball that his mom gave him. I guess it said Peter Millar or Peter Miller on it. So it came, it came from the inscription on a lawn bowling ball. That's kind of interesting. And they primarily sell things related to golf, golfy polos, golfy, like premium golfy brands. Hey, they got a full zip thing that looks kind of like a Patagonia Better sweater. They got jackets. So it's like that luxury ish, dressy, tailored golfy sportswear brand. Um, they're headquartered in Raleigh, North Carolina. They do have some standalone stores, about 16. They are a worldwide company, 240 employees. And in 2012, they were acquired by Richmond SA, which is this group right here. It's the same company that owns Cartier, uh, Bucciolati, all of these European companies. And they do own Peter Millar, which is right here in Raleigh. It is owned by that company. Their U.S. stock ticker is CFRUY Compagni Financiere Richmond SA. So that's who owns Peter Millar. Peter Miller. Let's take a look at the website. Go to on sale. That's 30%. It's primarily a menswear, but they do sell some women's stuff as well. Uh, not as much as you can see. If you go to men's, look at all men's. A lot less stuff for women's, and you can see that men's is first on their website in the top left. Usually they'll kind of focus on what they do best right there. So men's polos are probably what you're going to price high to low, and $89.95. So 95 looks like their highest polo that they make. There's a 115, you scroll down. Cotton blend, long sleeve. Oh no, it's saying that's a polo. Button front polo. No, that's not a polo. That's a long sleeve. 98, 98, some all over prints, some vineyard divine looking stuff. Polos hovering right around 100 bucks. They also make some jackets. There's a Sherling leather jacket, retails for 19.95 for some suede stretch, Seven Ranger New Book field jacket. 995 all weather flex discovery 798 so some of their pretty dang expensive jackets up there here's their better sweater style it does have the peter millar crown on the back so their logo is a little discreet not right in your face on the front of the piece we're going to go to ebay we're going to type in peter miller we're going to go to all and look at our markets, 36,000 results. So it is pretty saturated. Um, most of these are predominantly going to be in men's clothing as well. So let's go to clothing, shoes, and accessories. We'll go to men's. And that 32,000 drops in down, or that thir that drops down to 30,641. So it drops down a little bit because there are some in the women's section as well. But as you can see, we are pretty thickly saturated. If we type in just Peter Millar Polo, 11,000 results. If we type in Peter Millar Shirt, 19,000 results. You're going to be competing against a lot of people bottoming out your prices, like right here. Summer Comfort Shirt, 1344. 
And you're going to want your pictures to stand out. You're going to want your pictures to be crisp, clear on this. The here, right here is a beautiful picture. We'll go to pre-owned. Look at some of the best pre-owned looking pictures. There's a good pre-owned picture. As I just stumbled upon this, this is going to be one of the ones that you look for. It is a Peter Millar Masters collab or Peter Millar Masters collection line that one is going to be one that you want to look for just the basic polos uh if you're not getting them for like a dollar or two bucks like you really don't have that much room for profit say you sell or you say you buy it for 4.99 i don't know 3.99 4.99 is what you find at a goodwill it's going to cost at least three four dollars to ship therefore you're already in it eight dollars then you're going to have to pay your paypal fees whatever that's going to cost you like two bucks. You're in to like two dollars. You're in at ten bucks, and then you sell the shirt for fifteen to twenty. You're you're going to make five to ten dollars, maybe, depending. But focusing on like the higher end stuff is going to bring up your ASP, the actual number of items that you're having to list and sell. These all over prints are going to be better than just a basic shirt subject matter to it pretty nice pictures going on there let's look at our completed we haven't even looked at the overall market yet. we're going to peter millar completed and we got clothing shoes and accessories fourteen thousand fifty five. we're going to go to sold ten thousand ninety eight so that's about a seventy Five ish, seventy, a little over seventy five ish percent sell through rate on the pre owned stuff. But like, like, look at this fifteen bucks plus fifty five dollars shipping for this polo, fourteen dollars. There's one, it's got some subject matter, it's got a Notre Dame embroidery, it's got some great pictures, nice bleached out background, and it's a quarter zip, so it's a probably a more expensive. It's got the nice logo on the back. The Crown Sport line, and that sold for forty. That piece be pretty good to get into. Came from Tampa. Auctioning them off. Look at these auctions. Four bids on a basic shirt. Two dollars. A dollar. Another one. Sixteen. It's so saturated. You're really either gonna have to wait it out, or you're gonna have to drop your price if you wanted to sell. Or you're gonna have to take really good pictures, or you're gonna have to pick items that are pretty unique not just plain and they're gonna have to be in really good conditions things with flaws in it are definitely going to be bottom of the barrel for this they do make suits sports coats and stuff uh let's go to price plus shipping highest first probably going to be your uh that's this is something sketch there's a lot we got new with tag coat let's go to used I mean, you, you might find this new with tags. I have found... Oh, we're on pre-owned. It's still coming up with new with tags. Um, there we go. There's that $2,000 or around that jacket for, that sold for 199 It's crazy. And this one says it sold for 220 but it must be some sort of Bali Neal golf club. So it's probably some very expensive high... Oh, there's a lot of two. Okay, so there's a lot of two. Um, the bags, leather bags, would always be doing good. Some suits, two piece. This is a two button. There's cashmere, that's some good stuff. Some jackets, lot of shorts, cashmere, so that's a good material to pick up. There's our, there's our uh, master's performance. Not the greatest pictures, but because it's something that's such a, a sought-after expensive item at the Masters tournament, they can kind of get away with having not the best pictures. Oh, here's a Scotty Cameron. So the the Scotty Cameron stuff's going to do well too. Just a picture of the Scotty Cameron sleeve, Scotty the Scottish Terrier embroidery patch thing. Those Peter Millar. If we type in Peter Millar Scotty, Peter Millar Scott. If I could type. Peter Millar Scotty. Uh, these are all pre owned. Look at those polos, you're going for good. A lot of them over 50 bucks. 39, 47. Cheapest was 20 for whatever reason, but most of them are most in the, like the 40 something dollar range. So if you had Scotty, see that Scotty Cameron on the sleeve. What else can I say about Peter Millar? 
Hmm. If we could take a look at Poshmark. We have had some shirts up on Poshmark for so long that just have not had any interest. And I think it's new with tags long sleeve. But let's look at Soul. A pair of pants, 25. Laura Piana collab, new with tags, new with tags. Laura Piana, Laura Piana, that's good. All this stuff is new with tags. New with tags, new with tags. So people are probably picking this up at like Marshalls or TJ Maxx or something. Either super on sale or acquiring it some discount way. Leather jacket, $1,000 retail, sold for 200 There's a Masters quarter zip, sold for 200 Cashmere. New with tags, new with tags. This one doesn't look like it was new with tags, neither does this. They do have some collaborations with shoes. Or maybe they make shoes. Let's see, men's dress shoes. I guess they have their own shoes. And you'll see that Peter Millar crown tassel though for 500 yeah, I've never found a pair of shoes. Crown, not really much going on. Oh, yeah, it says Peter Millar on the outsole, too. They did a collab with G4. Here's, if you don't know this brand, G4. Here's a little extra nugget for you guys. This G4 brand is a very, very nice golf uh, shoe. I don't know if they just make shoes. I haven't done more research into the brand, but this G4 brand I'm on the lookout for. Found a really nice pair of shoes from them. They retail, and they're not saturated at all. But Peter Millar did a collab with them in... They did a collab in 2017, and they bought them in 2018. So that's actually owned by Peter Millar now. And you'll see these G4. G4. And those G4s have this very specific-looking sole. Like golfy, sh golfy shoe sole, but they're supposed to be more comfortable and stylish or whatever. That's pretty much it. That's the brand breakdown with this brand. Look for your Scotty Camerons, your Masters collection, your tour patches on your Peter Millar shirt, all, all over prints on those spandex or Lyle polos. The shoes could do well. Your down jackets, your vests, your quarter zips, your long sleeve. Well, here's a new with tags Peter Millar shirt that just sold for. 130 that's good keep a lookout for new with tags do not pay up for used summer comfort polos it's just super saturated you're not going to make a ton on them unless you find um, the more desirable prints things that stand out or those master collections again hope everyone had a merry christmas happy holidays and is going to hit the new year with 2020 vision and just crush it um but again, thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you have any questions or brands you want to see broken down, put them in the comment section below. And I will talk to you in the next one.